friends this is dr nikisha jariwala welcome to the tutorial of asp.net today we will see the concept of session which is server side state management technique first of all let's see what is state management technique state management is a technique within which we will store user state information either on a client machine or on the server there are two types of state management technique client side state management technique and server side state management technique if we store user state information on the client machine then it is known as client side state management technique and if we store user state information on the server machine then it is known as server side state management technique there are four types of client side state management technique cookies query stream view state and hidden field likewise there are four server side state management technique session application user profile and caching as it is server side state management technique the information which is stored within the session is stored on the server machine in general we can say that the session is the duration within which the user interacts with our web application so let's see an example for the example i have created two pages p1.aspx and p2.aspx on p1.aspx i will take username and email as an input from the user after that i will create the session and then i will navigate the user to p2.aspx page on p2.aspx page i will check whether the session is created or not if the session is created i will retrieve the values from the session and i will assign the values within the label if the session is not created then i will display the message to the user that session is not created so this is the design of p1.aspx page on the page i have placed two text boxes so that i can take input from the user the id of first text box is txt u name the id of second text box is txt email and then i have added one button control the id of button control is btn send now let's see the code if we want to create the session we need to use http session state class of dotnet framework by default session is the object of http session state class within dotnet framework so within our example to create the session we will use session object on the click event of the button control i will add the value of txt u name that is the username within the session with u name field after that i will add the value from txt email that is the email of the user within the session with name email so with the help of this two statements the session is created and the value of username and email is added within the session then with the help of response.redirect i will navigate the user to p2.aspx page now let's see p2.aspx page it is a very simple page on which i have placed two label controls the id property of first label control is lbl u name and the id of second label control is lbl email i will retrieve the values from the session and i will assign those values within this two label control so let's see the code obviously i will retrieve the values on the page load event so here is the page load event on the page load event first of all i have checked within if condition that whether the value within the session that is username and email is empty or not so with the help of this if condition that is if session u name is not equal to empty and session email not equal to empty then i have retrieved the values from the session with the help of session parenthesis double quotation and within double quotation i have written the name that is u name and the value that is assigned within this u name is retrieved and it is assigned to lbl u name which we have placed on the page likewise again i will retrieve the email value that is with the help of session parenthesis double quotation and within double quotation i will specify email so the email is retrieved 
and the value is assigned to LBL email. Again, which I have already placed on the page. Now, if the session is not created, that is the value of U name and email is empty within the session, then the else part will be executed and within the else part within MSG box, I have displayed message to the user that is session is not created. So this is the code of page load event through which we will able to retrieve the values of username and email from the session and we will assign those values to the label control which we have already placed on the page. Now let's execute. So here is our page. Let's enter username. I will write Nikisha Jariwala and within email I will specify Nikisha at the rate gmail.com and then I will click on send button. So now this is p2.aspx page and within p2.aspx page the value that is username and email is retrieved from the session and it is assigned within the label control. Now let's see what if we will not specify username and email within this text box control. So without entering the values I will click on send button. So it will display that session is not created. I will click on ok button and see we are not able to retrieve the values from the session. So this is all about the example. If the tutorial is helpful to you, please like and share the video. Also subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss the update. Thank you.